latest app that has caught fire with teens. It's called oh, Snapchat. Yeah. Instagram, Vine. What started off as unlikely, impossible, is now reality. You know, we're all scared of trying to love people. If you're trying to be loving. Sure. But if we all could just relax and love each other. Wouldn't hurt to have more love in the world. clock turned to a new decade, the world had anticipation for new technology, entertainment, and great economic healing after the recession. Some of the biggest stories from that year involved the BP oil spill and the earthquake in Haiti. Apple introduced the iPad, Instagram was created, Apple introduced FaceTime, and the Kinect was released. Facebook had over half a billion users, and believe it or not, but not just did Facebook recently surpass MySpace, but they actually surpassed Google in website visits. Some of the major films from the time included Toy Story 3, Inception, the Social Network, Iron Man 2, and The End of Shrek. Some of the hit songs from the time included TikTok, Break Your Heart, and Just The Way You Are. Some hit games that came out of the year were Black Ops, Red Dead, and Fallout New Vegas. As for YouTube, it was all about the cool, funny, cute, sad, and happy moments in our lives, with viral videos like Double Rainbow, Bed Intruder, and It Gets Better. The most subscribed channel at the time was Nigga Higa. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. This was a year that Americans were waiting for. There were parties all over the streets from Washington all the way to Delaware. This would also be a very hard time though for Japan as multiple tsunamis were hitting. This was affecting jobs and factories. This is also when the 2012 election was in full swing. Snapchat was born, Twitch was created, Minecraft would officially release, and we ended the space shuttle program. As for movies, this would be the last Harry Potter film, and superheroes were quickly taking over the box office with Captain America, Thor, and X-Men. The hit songs of the year included Firework, Grenade, Born This Way, Party Rock and moves like Jagger. As for video games, Portal 2, Skyrim, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, and Dark Souls became beloved by millions. Viral videos of the time included Ultimate Dog Tees, Talking Twin Babies, Nyan Cats, and Friday, if you're watching this in the future. And let me tell you, even though it seems like it was really hated back then, everyone was singing it and it was not enjoyable. It was very painful. The most subscribed YouTuber at the time was Ray William Johnson. Some South Korean guy managed to get his music video to hit 1 billion views, the first video ever to hit such a number. Barack Obama won his second term, and this guy jumped out of a balloon capsule. There was also Kony 2012. This was a video created to spark conversation about a man named Joseph Kony. He was responsible for the kidnapping of over 30,000 kids in Africa. This campaign worked out really, really well. We also landed the biggest rover on Mars named Curiosity. There was a 16-year-old called Malala that was fighting for girls' education in Pakistan, even to the point that she was shot and survived. The once video rental giant Blockbuster had filed for bankruptcy showing that streaming was the future. Hurricane Sandy stormed over New York and destroyed many businesses and many lives. The iPhone had finally met its match with the Galaxy S3. At the time, people were using phones that had either 3 to 4 inch screens. Compare that to the S3's 4.8 inch screen, which at the time felt huge. The S3 was truly the first to take off and really challenge Apple. Also during this time, Apple was having a court case with Samsung, and because of this, everyone was calling Samsung a copycat. 
And this is really when the smartphone wars kicked off. A very short-lived thing that people had about debating about which smartphone was better, which of course happens today, but back then it was really passionate. Also, Microsoft releases Windows 8, which is something that was disliked by many, but it is one of the first examples of companies shifting their logos and software to become a flat design instead of a skeuomorphic design with 3D bulky images. The biggest films at the box office included Avengers, Hunger Games, Skyfall, Wreck-It Ralph, and and the Dark Knight. As for music, the hit songs included Stronger, Somebody I Used to Know, and Call Me Maybe. Some hit video games at the time included Halo 4, Assassin's Creed 3, Black Ops 2, and Borderlands 2. The Wii would also release, which would kick off the 8th generation console war. As for YouTube, the state of it was beginning to change as it was becoming more gaming oriented. And we had viral videos already mentioned, Kony 2012 and Gundam style. Viral videos include Dumb Ways to Die, a conversation with my 12 year old self, Ain't Nobody Got Time for That, and Fallen Kingdom. The most subscribed YouTuber at the time was still Ray William Johnson. In 2013, the tragic event in Boston occurred. Tornadoes storm over Oklahoma, damaging many homes. The government shuts down, and Snowden leaks personal information from the government to everyone. This is also the year that Vine is born, Amazon plans to fly drones to your door, the PS4 and Xbox One also join in on the 8th generation console war, although Microsoft gets some backlash from their Xbox policies at the time, and the Wii U isn't really selling well. Apple puts a fingerprint scanner on their phone. You can catch tunes like Thrift Shop, Blurred Lines, Wake Me Up, Get Lucky, and Mirror on this year's jam list. Blockbusters of the year include Hunger Games 2, Iron Man 3, Frozen, and Gravity. Games of the year included Last of Us, Battlefield 4, and GTA 5 drops down and makes a billion dollars in 24 hours. As for YouTube, it continues to grow in the gaming realm. Viral videos include The Fox, Harlem Shake, as well as a lot of goats. This is when PewDiePie would surpass everyone and become the most subscribed YouTuber on YouTube for a very long time. In 2014, Ebola outbreaks and creates a national emergency. Malaysia Airlines has a missing airplane and another one that was shot down. Apple finally makes a bigger iPhone, as well as announcing their smartwatch, the Apple Watch. Sony makes a movie about assassinating North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. In response to this, a hacking group called Guardians of Peace hacked into Sony. They also threatened theaters not to show Sony's upcoming film. Sony complied with this, which actually disappointed a lot of Americans. It was seen as an attack on our freedom of speech. But on the bright side, Sony does have the PS4, which is making them tons of cash, while Nintendo is financially in trouble. We also landed on a comet. Windows releases Windows 10. Music hits include Counting Stars, Fancy, Rude, Shake It Off, and Dark Horse. Hit movies at the time include American Sniper, Hunger Games 3, I Am Groot, The Lego Movie, and Interstellar. As for hit video games, those include Destiny, Mario Kart 8, Titanfall, Smash Bros, and of course, Five Nights at Freddy's. The state of YouTube was gone wrong in the hood. 360 No Scopes, Spider Dog, Ice Bucket Challenge, there's the Apparently Kid, Tony Hawk rides a hoverboard, and this guy gets kicked in the head by a train. Hoverboards exist, sorta. Of. And also they explode. So besides the 2016 election starting in full swing, other big stories included the Paris attacks and the migrant crisis. Gay marriage becomes legal in all states across the US. People were fighting over what color a dress was. NASA found evidence of floating water on Mars. Google is no longer Google. They created a parent company called Alphabet. Ashley Madison spills the secrets of many politicians and stars of having affairs. An electric car manufacturer Tesla wrote out autopilot. Top films include The Force Awakens, Age of Ultron, and Jurassic World. Top songs include See You Again, Hello, Hotline Bling, Can't Feel My Face, and Bad Blood. Top games of the year include Fallout 4, Splatoon, Halo 5, Dying Light, Battlefront, and Black Ops 3. This is when politics goes crazy. Unlike previous wars with consoles and smartphones, this one on candidates was really intense. It wasn't just people insulting each other in the comments, it was people in real life destroying relationships. And regardless of anyone's position, I think it's safe to say, down the line, it's pretty sad to see that happen. Anyways though, moving on. 400,000 lives are lost during the Syrian civil war, and Apple removes the headphone jack, but proves itself to keep its privacy by not letting the FBI into an iPhone. While Samsung blows up for the wrong reasons, VR becomes more mainstream than ever. Donald Trump becomes the 45th 
President of the United States. People are also flipping bottles and running in place. Songs to tune into include Pillow Talk, Work, Panda, Can't Stop the Feeling, and Closer. Films that came out to a theater near you include Rogue One, Finding Dory, and all sorts of superhero movies as superheroes continue to dominate the box office. Nintendo comes back on the scene with Pokemon Go Fever while Bethesda revives Doom and Blizzard challenges TF2 with Overwatch. And Activision makes a game that no one wanted. You know, instead of politics, let's talk about that. And also, Sean Murray tries becoming Todd Howard but goes a little too far. But don't worry, Sean, the news will get better over the years. EA brings us back in time with Battlefield 1, which during this time there was also that debate between gamers with Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1. People wanted more good old days with boots on the ground instead of going to space, which isn't really what Call of Duty was about. That's why a lot of people were not happy about it, just in case you're from the future and you're confused about this. Also, this is a very crazy time for YouTube. It is filled with drama for the first time that we've never seen before. This was the time when gift card giveaways were insane and commentary channels were all the rage. But something weird was going on with monetization. This weird yellow icon was slowly creeping in here and there. People were kind of just going, hmm, during this time. Bitcoin explodes in value, which leaves many investors profiting hundreds of thousands. Apple and Samsung both release bezel-less phones, Hurricane Irma strikes Puerto Rico and Florida, and almost everyone is able to see this solar eclipse. Fidget spinners were also a popular toy. This would also be the year that Vine would close down, and this caused a lot of people on Vine to switch over to YouTube, giving us things like the Paul Brothers and Lance Stewart. Many would call this the Vine invasion. Also, everyone tried to get their hands on a Szechuan sauce from McDonald's that was shown in Rick and Morty and uh... It, it was interesting. The hot songs of the year include Shape of You, Be Humble, We Are Number One, and Despacito. Films of the year include Dunkirk, Get Out, It, Coco, and The Last Jedi. The top games of the year include Cuphead, PUBG, Horizon Zero Dawn, Mario Odyssey, and Breath of the Wild. This year there were tons of diss tracks being thrown around at other YouTubers, and tons and tons of YouTubers were reporting that they were getting demonetized, sometimes for no reason. So the question is, can YouTube fix this? CEO of Facebook Mark Zuckerberg is called to court to testify about the Cambridge Analytical scandal, which involved a British political firm that took 87 million users' data without their knowledge. Logan Paul filmed a dead body for views, SpaceX announced their first private trip to orbit the moon, North and South Korea meet on the border, and YouTuber PewDiePie battled it out with T-Series for the most subscribers on YouTube. Also, remember that running in place trend? Well, now people are doing it, but just with their car being put into drive genius. There was also the royal wedding with Meghan Markel and Prince Harry. There was also a boxing match between Jake Paul and Deji and Logan Paul and KSI, in which Jake Paul won, and then there was a tie between Logan Paul and KSI. I wonder why. And the world watched as a Thailand soccer team was rescued after being trapped in a cave. Top songs of the year include God's Plan, Nice For What, Sicko Mode, Happier, and Sunflower. Top movies are basically Marvel, but there was also Incredibles 2, A Quiet Place, Ready Player One, Jurassic World Fallen King, Kingdom and Black Klansmen. Top games include Red Dead 2, Smash Bros Ultimate, God of War, Spider-Man, and a plethora of Battle Royale games, including Black Ops 4, Battlefield 5, and Fortnite. Bethesda also released Fallout 76 which um, didn't work out as planned. Also, one thing you may have noticed is that over each year, I stopped talking about YouTube at the end of the year less and less, and that's because YouTube began to integrate really much more in the mainstream world. So that's why I mentioned YouTube things in just regular events, because they were so big and so talked about. But now that leads us to today. The first ever image of a black hole is taken by NASA, Notre Dame catches on fire, Tesla unveils a futuristic-like truck, and Samsung unveils a foldable smartphone. Also, tons of people gather around Area 51 to, uh... Okay.
I guess actually die. Popular songs of the year include Bad Guy, Old Town Road, Senorita, and Sucker. This year seems like the year of conclusions for many of our favorite films, which include Endgame, Toy Story 4, The Rise of Skywalker, but we also had two popular directors actually make a film. Of course, that being Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Scorsese's The Irishman. As for the top video games of the year, that would include Apex Legends, Jedi Fallen Order, Borderlands 3, Kingdom Hearts 3, and Outer Worlds. Nintendo also released a smaller version of the Switch. And that leads us to today, or yesterday, or last year, or five years ago, or even ten years ago, whenever this video is being watched. I feel like people look back on this year and say that it was bad. Maybe it's just because of some decisions that companies made that we don't really agree with. But we still have a lot of good things to take from this decade. I feel like there's one thing that's being forgotten here. The thing that truly makes this decade one of the best. And that's us. We all came together to do some incredible things, whether it be bringing justice or making the world a better place. The internet has brought us this pro to the cons that we always look at when thinking about it. And although there has been a community already in the 90s and the 2000s, it has never been as huge as it's been this decade. And especially this decade, we've really realized that we can make a difference. Even if we're just sitting at home, we've met new friends and created families because of this. And we've created a new form of art. <laughs> Yeah, I just called it art. And when you look at 2010 compared to 2019 with how technology have changed, it is once again incredible. We may not have gotten some sort of new revolutionary device, but we've gotten a ton of incredible tech still, and the tech that we already have has evolved so much. At the beginning of the year, for example, everyone's phone had like a 240p camera, but now you literally have a 4K camera in your pocket. And in this decade, we've really found so many purposes to have one in our life, and that's why everyone has one today. So in the future, when people begin to talk about the 2010s and how they feel about it, or if someone who's never lived in it asks about it, don't forget to mention who made the biggest difference, because it's the person watching this video.